In the region between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan lies the Aral Sea, or rather, what's left of it. This once vast lake has lost 90% of its water and become one of the most arid regions in Central Asia in the space of just 50 years. The Aral Sea was once a gigantic water reservoir. It was a gigantic aquatic habitat and biotope. It had huge biodiversity. Such island-type systems are always hot spots of biodiversity. And now the seabed of this former lake is known as Aralkum, which means that the lake has also turned into a desert. For decades, the rivers that fed the Aral Sea were diverted for irrigation. When the water levels dropped, valuable fish species also disappeared. As a result, the fishermen and other people living along the shore lost their livelihood. But there was another problem. The former seabed is now a dangerous layer of dust, salt and chemicals. And this toxic mixture is being blown by the wind. And it is causing desertification of the entire region. The fishermen have little hope that they'll ever be able to cast their nets again. Farming is also affected, as sandstorms destroy vegetation and strip the topsoil. The local residents breathe in the poisonous cocktail of sand, salt, dust and pesticides and suffer from chronic lung diseases. In Almaty, Kazakhstan's largest city, European researchers are working with scientists from the region to better understand the dust storms. They want to know how the dust is formed, how it spreads, and how human activity is contributing to the problem. With the help of satellite technology, the dust storms are being monitored at the National Space Research Center. The images from Central Asia show that the dust is drying up neighboring areas. The entire region is turning into a desert-like ecosystem. Stopping this large-scale development is one of the main goals of the collaborative research effort. In the past decade, since the year 2000, the amount of sand blowing from the Aral region has been steadily increasing and polluting new land each year. We have also found that the intensity and frequency of the dust storms are increasing. At the Kazakh Research Institute of Ecology and Climate, project scientists are studying the dynamics of the dust storms. First, they track the dust with the help of information about its composition and the speed of the swirling grains when they are blown by the wind. To do this, they produce miniature sandstorms in a wind tunnel equipped with laser measurement technology. These experiments have helped us to understand how sand is blown away by winds at different speeds and in what quantities. Now we know that sand particles move like an avalanche. The smallest particles are lifted and they push bigger ones, which push bigger ones and so on. We also know that the maximum concentration of sand occurs at the height of a fraction of a millimeter. We can also use mathematical methods to calculate the total mass of sand blown away at different heights and different wind speeds. The researchers want to set up a network of measuring stations to determine the source of the dust storms as an early warning system against desertification. And they hope that small islands of plants will bind the dust on the former seabed. But for much of the Aral Sea, that help comes too late.